A lot of you reach out asking me, Cardio, how do you balance your really intense job alongside making YouTube videos, meeting mates, mentoring startups, speaking at events, all alongside trying to pig, I mean, <laughs> chill out. Look, I try to do all of these really famous things people rave about, like time boxing. Everyone here on YouTube loves to time box and I think it's really cliche because it never worked for me. I try to time box me going to the gym, me reading, me eating food for lunch, and I never stuck to it. I was never committed. Whilst if I had to log into a work meeting, hey, I was there five minutes before. So one day on a very lonely walk, I reflected on why do none of these time management tricks work for me? And after much introspection, two hard truths hit me. I gave other people's time much more importance than my own time because I was not okay letting them down, but I was okay letting my own self down. And two, the concept of managing your time felt very artificial and it felt like allocating a time slot to things that I loved lost the fun of doing those very same things. So I wanna give you a few principles that you can apply to your own lives because everyone is different. So feel free to tweak these and apply these to your lives. One of the biggest frustrations that we all feel is that we have so much to do in such little time, but actually we all have the same 24 hours fixed in the day. So how do we fill all the stuff we want to do into our small box? By getting rid of the junk. See, some tasks, they really just pay off, whereas other tasks just keep you busy, but you'll achieve nothing by doing them. Focus on the tasks that give you the biggest value, and sometimes it helps if you just put a dollar sign to it. So what stuff is gonna make you a million pounds, and what stuff is just gonna make you one quid? Focus on your big bets and eliminate all the rest. So now, as part of my evening routine, I ask myself, if there is one thing I could do tomorrow, what is it going to be? It makes me focus on tasks which have the most impact to my life, to my happiness, to my work, whatever it is. But I realized I cannot plan this a week before. I have to plan this the day before. But what about the things that just don't fit into the box? Well, we have just got to let them go. And that's because the problem isn't that we can't fit everything into the box. The problem is that we feel like we should fit everything into the box and do more. And social media makes us feel this way. Traveling, eating, being the perfect sister, reading, being the perfect daughter, all on the same day and trying to juggle all of this is not going to happen. So social media is literally selling us lies. It's a fantasy. It's all fake. So do not feel bad for letting go. If you feel like you don't have enough time, why not create time? Literally just take two things you hate, do it at the same time, because actually you've created more time to do things that you love. All of the small annoyances that we hate, they all add up and it's like being attacked by a swarm of mosquitoes. You don't really realize the impact of being bitten by one mosquito, but 50 of those, they will hurt. And that's exactly what's happening when you're trying to give energy to some of these tasks, like doing a small task, you don't really realize how much energy is going but when you try to tackle that big task after that i mean your, your motivation is sucked dry by doing 50 of those small tasks so sometimes i like to do that big task first and then leave the small task for the night before i get everything that i need for the next day the night before it might be if i'm going to the gym my gym clothes out and front and center if i need to study for this coaching certificate i'm doing those books are literally on my desk because not only does it trigger me to do it the next day but i also have saved time of doing that tomorrow and it all does compound up and you realize at the end of the day you have actually saved so much time what do you turn to when you have nothing to do and i'm gonna to be totally honest for me i used to literally spend hours scrolling on tiktok and instagram and i came to this point where i couldn't trust myself going on social media because i ended up spending like four to five hours and i definitely am this kind of go ham kind of girl i'm either zero where i'm literally chilling in bed the whole day watching netflix watching k-dramas or bollywood or i'm a hundred but i realized that this wasn't actually making me waste time because see when you have nothing to do chilling is this default mode i used to turn to but actually why not make the default mode work make that the side hustle that you're working on or that one passion or hobby that you love doing and i realized that when you are out with your mates you don't really feel guilty because you have spent enough time working on that side hustle studying whatever it is and you're actually not behind so you do not feel guilty and you actually enjoy it in the moment in this era of constant distraction, have you ever realized that you are your biggest distraction? Yeah, you, I am not talking about your phone, mate. Every time that I get stressed or frustrated, I just stop doing that task. So recently I've been 
getting creative blocks whenever I write YouTube outlines. It might be because I'm brain fried, but whenever that happens, I just stop doing that task and I switch gears and scroll on my phone. One minute becomes an hour, an hour becomes two hours, two hours become three hours. And well, okay, guys, you know, I don't stop scrolling without spending hours on it and I cannot trust myself now. So our brains, really do love to take the easy way out i feel like they cop out they give up really easily and you know we kind of just switch gears and we do the easiest task and that basically is not thinking each of us have personal triggers for me it's when i get annoyed when i get annoyed with myself i just stop doing that task for you it might be being alone when you're not surrounded by people to give you motivation understand what your personal triggers are and stop yourself from even getting to that stage okay so that really works for me and now i definitely have got distracted less and get much more into the flow state and i'm going to do a video on how i get into the flow state find your personal triggers and stop doing that asap <laughs> Now, time management might be about productivity, but laziness can be your secret weapon because we all try to be perfect. Look, we all try to have perfect grades, perfect hair, perfect body, which is not going to happen to me. And actually in school, I received loads of A stars. So I was really proud of achieving them because I didn't have really have to spend a lot of time on it. And that time I would have spent on studying. Actually, I spent it on playing World of Warcraft, watching Avatar, learning how to touch type really quickly. But actually, to be serious, I spent a lot of the time working on this jewelry e-commerce business I had. Do you think I could have fit all of it and got straight perfect A stars? Mm, no, I don't think so. So I basically decided to give up the idea of being perfect at every single thing and had this quality of this benchmark that I had to achieve in my things because once I've achieved that, I could spend it on something else, which I thought was like a big bet, which could make eventually a hundred million pounds in the future, which never happened by the way. But it means that you don't have to spend your whole time trying to be perfect at every single thing you do. Like I know my YouTube videos aren't perfect. Have you seen my editing? But I'm okay with that because it allows me to spend time on Instagram talking to all of you and actually like getting to know all of you. Prioritize what's important and allow yourself to do poorly at the rest of the things because nothing is less productive than to make more efficient what should not be done at all. Also, most of the time, my work doesn't really feel like work at all, but there are definitely times when it does, like when you're aligning boxes on PowerPoint slides, but it kind of shows to me that managing your time also is really dependent on your mindset and the energy you bring to whatever task you're doing. A lot of people say they're morning people or evening people, but I never believe them because there are days when I'm working till 3 a.m. Thank you, Instagram fam, for keeping me going in those moments. But there are also times I'm working at eight, waking up at 6 a.m., ready to go, ready to write a script. It all depends on your energy levels for the day. So you really need to understand the rhythm that you have, the mood that you have for the day, and kind of adjust your time as you go along it managing your time isn't shouldn't be the same thing that you're doing every single day it's all dependent on how you're feeling but it got me thinking how can i change the energy or the mood that i'm feeling each day so if i'm feeling really shit how do i make myself into a good mood and i mean there's only enough coffee that you can drink in a day right or is that <laughs> this is a weird flex but i like to light candles when i feel a little bit low it might sound weird okay forget me please let me know find what brings you energy and kind of create this environment or do those things that give you energy to for, to allow you to be pumped for whatever task you need to do because i do think that that when you bring high energy to a task you kind of get through it quicker or you're more happier doing it and then you do get through it quicker as well using these principles has made me realize that i don't need to manage my time second to second i just just apply these principles and just kind of go with the flow to be honest and it's working i've detached myself of trying to be perfect at everything and that's allowed me to be happier because i enjoy the moment i'm present and it just feels good so this is my thoughts on time management if you want to hear my thoughts on what you need to be prepared for for the hustle culture and productivity check out my videos here and you know what please, please hit the like button. You've been absolute legend. And leave me a comment if you watch this because I just want to know who's actually here and watching till the end. And I will see you next week. And you know what? Actually, go watch my videos. Go see the other videos I have. And, you know, actually just connect with me over Instagram too. We'd love to hear from all of you. So see you next week.